Right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know you're knocking. You're gonna have to come in and shut that door whilst I open this one. This is my colleague. Hi, Joe. Hi, love. How are you? Hi. In. Oh, come on. Hello. 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 Pearl. Pearl. It's a girl. Come on, gorgeous. Come on. In. Come on. Just to go through to the yeah living room. Yeah. Pearl. Pearl. Come on, missus. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. <laughs> no. Come on. Move. Go for yours. Come on. Yeah. Just want to smack him. And for you. Mind the house. Go. discussion about the and yeah. obviously the information that we've had yeah, in relation to the amount of alcohol you're drinking. Right, I was the one who went to the doctors, yeah. made the appointment, asked to be referred to Kais. I was the one who went, I'm abiding by what they've told me to do. So he's a wrong on every level to say that the 25th of November, I asked Courtney to be out the house because she was gobby, she was causing arguments, um, disrupting the whole house in front of any. And uh, I rang the police. No, no, I rang the police because I am filming this because you. Okay. Can I, can I go on. To just say something then. Go on. If you, if you choose to film this, yeah. that's your choice. It is. We are it's my speaking. Right. We're speaking. Yeah about confidential information no. regarding concerns that children's services have right. and that's in relation to your little boy Vinny. Vinny? Yes. Yeah, he's twelve now. Yeah, that, yeah. that's the reason. So if you if you choose to video that and I you am. want to have that all recorded and you Every want this bit conversation, of it. Every bit of it. then that's that's your choice. Of course, it's my rice. Okay. It's my rice. Um use of deduced from me getting Courtney out the house on the 25th of November that I'm not a good mum when I removed her from being disruptive and breaking furniture, all manner of things. Both me and Courtney are talking now. I went to Kais, which obviously I can prove all this, that I went to the doctor first and I asked to be referred to Kais. I'm working with them and you have gone away in the meantime and deduced that I am not a good mum and that I'm going to a core group meeting on the 6th of January, yeah? Well, Whilst you all try and sit around, right, and look down your noses at me for not being a good mum, which I am. So I will go to these meetings, I will engage. Of course I will. Sharon, because no said, excuse me. No speak, No, excuse said, me, you, you said, said on the phone yesterday. You said I know I'm a good mum. No, but why are you taking me to a call what group meeting? Why are you staying involved? It's an, it's an initial child protection case conference. I'm probably That's gonna move to Manchester after Christmas where this will be dealt with much better. Definitely. Um, you're just in a mood because I didn't let you in the house on the Tuesday. You had an appointment on the Wednesday. You can laugh all you want. That, you can case, laugh Sharon. all you want. It is. That's, it that's is. I'm sorry, not, what's your name again? It's Caroline. Caroline right, Edwards. Caroline Edwards. That is exactly what it is. It's not. I, it doesn't matter. what. I willingly signed a piece of paper in that case meeting last week saying that I was quite happy for her to share information with you. I sat in that... that appointment with her and told them that yous had been around that child social services were involved i was i've got nothing to hide i was honest about everything so you haven't got a leg to stand on the other thing we've had as well which i'll share with you we had some more information through sent by the police right i've reported through. i've reported a very very serious 
potential crime and nothing is being done about it. The, the concern was about, is it your ex-partner? It is my ex. Right, yeah. yeah. So obviously that's come through as well. I think with regards to the decision about taking the case-to-case -case conference, um, it is in relation to um, the it's a significant amount of alcohol that you are drinking. Which I told you on the phone yesterday that I am working with them. I asked for that appointment and I've done what Zoe asked of me to reduce, reduce. Karen, are you going to allow me to speak? I, I wouldn't mind, but what's coming out of your mouth is just, it's not yeah, right. You haven't even answer answered me mouth. over the crime. I've just said I've reported a potential crime and, and you just sat there and you started going on about something else. There is three kids on the Isle of Anglesey that really, really need your help. Okay. And you're here on my case. Do you know what I mean? The concern is around... My concern is this is farcical. Well, the history and the information that we hold the discussion I had with Vinny, one of the things Vinny said to me go was on. that he didn't want you to drink and he would prefer yes. you not to drink. Yes, of course, and I'll do everything for him. And that will be reflected in the report. No problem. Yeah, that will be reflected. Yeah, no, you you and put that down in the report because I've had words about my son and I've told him I don't want him growing up to see that. And, you know, and I am I'm doing would, it. And we would respect that and we would want you to work with services. However, I, think I have to work with you, so I will engage with you. But you still haven't answered me over what I've reported. You haven't. Because There's you three. Really you, yeah. You're just reeling you off onto something else. A very sick. There's three children on the Isle of Anglesey with a woman who was clearly unhinged, who was asked for her ex-partner's son to be murdered. She's just come into money. I'm scared now. I've been, to, I've been, to, I've held onto this for the last five months, and this is why I started drinking again. I've been warned off not to tell the police because apparently everyone on the Isle of Anglesey is in the Masons, and I know how stupid this sounds, but I've been more or less intimidated not to say anything about this, and there's no way I'm not saying anything. You know, I've reported it though, and that no one. Needs to be reported to the police. I and went to the police station the yesterday. Police in relation to information you share, that's yeah. obviously, a, you know, it's concerning, and but that's a police matter. I'm only being open and honest in relation to what right. the information they've shared with us. Yeah? Good. So that's come through on our system, and it just notes that you reported um, an incident of harassment by your ex-partner. Yeah. And obviously there was just a concern, because we're involved, that if... You were still in a relationship, no. it's just about gathering more information about whether you are in a relationship and what the current circumstances are because of the concerns around you. Of course. However, if you're saying you're not in a relationship no. with him and we don't have any evidence for that... I'm not. This is you can just, ask me, son. This is just me saying, this is what's come through from the police, we've got it on our system. Nice. Yeah? So that's the, the most recent thing that's come through. Um, Did you speak to Trevor Jones? Yes. You left here saying that you're going to speak yeah, to Trevor Jones. To Trevor. Um, so what ha what happens in that conversation? Okay, if I just answer your question, yes, I have spoken to Trevor, and he said that he's made attempts to come and visit, but he right. hasn't been able to get in, or he hasn't been able to get any answer. I would never not answer the door to him. So what what have you deduced from the end of that conversation? Trevor, because Vinny's um, off school because of severe, relentless bullying. Vinny's up. But they are, because I said this to Trevor Jones and you've just said to me he's got concerns of him not being in school. You haven't even sat there and said that I've said to Trevor Jones he was off because he was ill, he was off with a cough and he was off because he has been bullied. You had reported he'd been bullied. Yes. And Trevor had said that they weren't aware of that. Yeah. So that, that information has been shared with Trevor. I've said that you told me he wasn't in school because of bullying. Yeah. He said if we weren't aware of it. Right. So that's a matter for education to sort out, isn't it? For you to discuss with education. Well, also, if you've got Vinny's best interests at heart, you know, and you've said to him he's being bullied, you know, why weren't you there quick enough to, to have a word with Vinny or go in the school and have a word with him? Because Do you know we what I mean? child protection concern in relation to an incident between you and your daughter, which became quite volatile. Yeah. And Vinny told the police that he didn't want to stay here with you. Yeah. And that if, he, if his sister was leaving, if Courtney was leaving... He was and going. He, he and as I said to you, he never knows who's right and who's wrong. Okay. Vinny's been back. 
Courtney's been back. She came on Sunday for a Sunday tea. We're all talking. She's coming home for Christmas. It's sorted out. She said that what she said in the interview room, she asked not to be repeated. You came round here and you said she's accused you. you this is what you told me. She's accused you of killing the dog. Courtney was here the other day. Courtney says she never said that. It was an argument that happened the day before. And she thought that because of the argument that the dog... It, it, it is. But she's 18. She is 18. I can get her to come and say this. I think you've dealt with her badly, or the police have anyway, not yous. But you came round here and you said Courtney has accused you of killing the dog. That is exactly what you said to me. Now, Courtney came round here the other day and she said that is not what I said, Mum. Okay. Okay, the information that was recorded in the, uh, in the report we had from Well, it will all come out, won't it? Police, yeah? Yeah. Who dealt with that incident, not day services, it was right. out of hours that dealt with the incident in relation to Courtney and Vinny. Right. So that was recorded and that was what was recorded in the statement. Well, why is Courtney saying that she never said that? I I, well, I'll go and get I, the statement. I'll get the statement, I will. What we've got is, you know, we've got a history of previous involvement. And Three years ago, three years ago, I got I help. I fought five, five times in the secret of child courts for my son. This is all over me ringing on the 25th of November to have Courtney removed because the atmosphere and... This is what's happened, it's escalated it. And it's but how has it escalated? It the only reason why it's escalated is because I went to case, which I willingly went and asked my doctor because I'd be referred. You're just, you're like a dog with a bone. You're literally like the kid catchers out of chitty, chitty, bang, bang. No, it, really, you are. You can laugh, you can and bow no, your head. I just no, it's it completely, what, we, what we've got is a process to follow and there's a threshold that's- It's ridiculous. And I haven't said, in relation to case conference, it's a discussion about the need to whether there is a need for there a isn't a need. plan. There isn't that, a need. That has to be discussed. It's like I said to you yesterday. We need to discuss that in a multi-agency meeting. No. The, the, right, well, you go do it. You want me to go. I, I've had to do all this before. On the 6th of January and sit the round to the 8th. The 8th of right, and sit round the table with you all while you all try and... I'm the one. I, I've, I'm blameless in this. I've done no harm. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And it will be seen for what it is. But the, the process, it's, it's, it's met the threshold. Right. Right. The case is open. I'll be there. I'll be there. I will. I will have to come out and share the report with you. No, I, I want all the minutes. I want every report. <clears throat> Everything. I'll share the report with you on the 5th of January. Okay. Yeah. Um, on the Saturday. Friday the 5th. Oh, right. I thought you said the 8th was the Monday. Yeah. Oh, right. Friday. Friday the 5th. You're right. Just please correct me if I'm wrong on the Of day. course. So that's yeah. The 5th, Friday the 5th. Um, I will come out and share that report. Okay. Obviously, you'll have an invite to case conference. Which will, be on Monday, will you know I'll be there? Yeah. 10 o'clock. Yep. Um, and it is, it's, it's full discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, have you got any other questions? No, none at all. No. Oh, is Courtney, so is Courtney living back here now? No, Courtney doesn't live here. No. But you can lock that up. She's not living here. She's coming home for Christmas. I mean, what we've got is a situation that has created a child protection referral. It's opened up Vinnie under child protection. And we have lots of information historically. We do have to take From three years ago. Yeah, we'd still have to take into account what we've No, you're got. like a dog we with a bone. To, we have to review what we've got now, what the concerns are, what the concerns are. There is no are. concerns. Historically. No, there is no concerns. You just won't let it lie. But it's fine. It's not fine, but I'll do everything within my power for you to never get your hands on them. It's ridiculous. But this is about, this is about making sure that if I thought for one minute that you had my son's best interests at heart, I would be the most courteous, polite person you've ever met because my mum and dad brought me up with manners. You haven't even, you just told me that you had a discussion with Trevor Jones and he's off school, he's upstairs right now in bed over bullying in the school. All right, you're saying you don't really know about it. Well, you would have known about school it if you did. The school said they weren't aware of any bullying issues. How many times have I rang? That is absolute rubbish. That's absolute rubbish. Oh, I've been in. I've been in over. 
not not lately, but I have rang and I've got him up in the morning.